I'm Trey Carson, former Texas A&M Aggie, current Detroit Lions, here interviewing the Bill Ford Tough Player of the Year. So you guys led the nation in, run, in rushing. Could you see that coming? Mm -mm. Not, Not at, at all. all. Not at all? No. You, you guys probably knew y'all were going to run the ball a lot, but you probably couldn't fathom leading the yeah, nation like, in rushing. Yeah, with the nation, like everybody, yeah, we, nobody expected it. So. Mm -hmm. You rushed for over 2,000 yards. Yes, do you think, because you're, you're a two-way player, so do you think that kind of overshadows the fact that you play defense and you're a very good defensive player too? Uh, offense overshadow more of my defensive plan because like, I had, se I had seven interceptions throughout the season. Two were defensive touchdowns, um, 130 tackles. People don't talk about that. You know? right. They just think that the offense was everything. Right. You guys make it to the state championship. The week of the game, tell me where you guys' mindset is. Mindset. We knew they had been to the championship before, so that was already like you know, just like us being out. I want to just say out of there, but like they had more experience and mm -hmm. stuff. And this was our first time, so a lot of our, a lot of our guys were nervous and everything like that. But uh, I mean, we just had fun. We went out there the day before. We ate, you know, just chilled a lot, and that might have been a problem. <laughs> so you think? Uh, well, tell me about when you guys pull up to the stadium mm -hmm. on game day. I know you went walked the stadium before, but when you pull up on game day, it's a totally different feeling. Mm -hmm. Like. Walk me through those moments. Like, are you nervous? Like, yeah, a lot, of, a, a lot of our kids were nervous. Like, including me. I mean, it was the first time before or whatever. Uh, we didn't really think of it at, that much until we did head up to the stadium and we got into the locker rooms and everything. It was like, oh snap, this is really about to happen. Mm -hmm. A lot of nerves were going through a lot of people. Do you feel like the fact that you were nervous it impacted how you played or no? Um, I'm nervous before every game. Mm -hmm. it, like even against if we're playing the worst teams or not, I'm always nervous before a game. So right. I wouldn't say that that just changed the way I played or anything. I just think that their coach came out with a great scheme against us and mm -hmm. they got the win. So you guys were down in the game mm -hmm. and you tied up right before halftime. Tell me about you guys' mindset at that point in the game? Everybody, whenever we went to halftime, that's whenever our team really got on page. Like, right. we really thought we was gonna go out there and just have a, have the rest, like, the rest of the game be just like a great game or whatever. Uh, I know Coach came, pulled me to the side and was just like, all I need from you is just 24, mi 24 more minutes. Um, and I was like, yes sir, got you. But, I was actually at that game, and it was a good game. And when really? you guys, yeah, and when you guys tied it up, I thought you guys were gonna come out in the second half and just, you know, roll over. Um, what in the second half? Like, what happened? Like I said, th their scheme uh, was amazing, but the reason I would say the reason why we even tied it up in first place is because they were throwing. Mm -hmm. And they knew that they didn't have to do that the second half, so they just came out just running it down our throats and it just worked to perfection. You won four player of the week before. Tell me about that game. Uh, it was week seven against New Diana. This is actually whenever our team or whatever really thought we had a chance at going to state, like, cause this game was, it was a crazy game, an amazing game. I had like 200 yards, a forced fumble, pass breakup, 12 tackles, and a sack. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why they didn't play the week, for week seven. So when you won that award for week seven, did you know you were being nominated for it or like you just, you had no idea? I had no idea at all until one day we were all in the film room about to watch film over the next thing we were playing and Coach Abram, called me up and he was like, everybody, let's congratulate uh, LeJathan for 
being the Bill Ford Tough uh, Week Seven Play of the Week. So they came up to your school. With a, did they do the ceremony and all that? Yeah, like, they had a we had a, a pep rally. rally. Yeah. For it and everything. So fast forward to the end of the season, you win Player of the Year. Tell me about that. Tell me about how you felt after you won it. And that moment, that was, that was crazy because right. I was not expecting it. Right. I was talking to uh, one of the nominees, or whatever, from Dangerfield. Uh, and we went up there, we were like, oh, we're not about to win this or anything. And then whenever we went up there, uh, the lady said, you're 2019 3A, go forward to player of the year, is uh, with Jason Allen from Pop I, I was so shocked or whatever. I looked to the boy next to me or whatever. I was like, did she just call my name? Right. <laughs> it was just, it was crazy. I was not expecting to win at all. I'm pretty sure you, Pretty sure you won the award over some big name guys who you heard of. And oh yeah. Like I know they kind of probably felt good a little like. <laughs> it did. It, uh, even like Deion Sanders' son was there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, he was supposed to be there, but like he was a nominee. Right. And like all those guys up there were good. It was right. A couple guys up there had nine touchdowns in one game. Right. Stuff like that. So that's why I was really not expecting to win. Right. But. Tell me about when you walk up on, on the stage and. Accept your award, like what's going through your mind at that point? My heart is racing. Yeah. Uh, I really, I wasn't thinking much. I mean, we're we're all up there at first, and then once they, uh, like, said or whatever that I won, they just told everybody else to get off stage. <laughs> right. And then pulled me to the side to have an interview. But like I said, I didn't know what to say. I was not expecting to win or anything like that. What do What do you think this award? does for this community? Oh, it, uh, I, don't know, I wouldn't say that it put Pewitt back on the map, but like, it gives them a lot to think about. Like, I had a, uh, I wouldn't say I, but the team had a whole fan base or whatever, and they were behind us throughout the entire season. Mm -hmm. And once one of the players got this player of the year, or whatever, it just makes up everybody else want to get on it. Right. Do you feel like that since y'all didn't win state, but you did win player of the year, mm -hmm. it kind of gives the community a sense of like, at yeah. least we did win something like mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Exactly. What kind of legacy do you think you and your teammates left here for people? I feel like everybody, like all the kids from in junior high or younger or whatever, feel like they just they're just gonna try and strive to be a, be like a team like ours. Mm -hmm. Cause I know a lot of junior high kids, they go around, they be like, oh, here's a Jason and stuff like that. Uh, they just wanna see somebody to look up to and then just follow them. Right. Even though they called your name mm -hmm. for the Player of the Year award, do you feel like it's more of a team award? Oh, most definitely, most definitely. Without the whole line, I went and got as uh, as many yards, rushing yards, or whatever, and receiving yards. I went and got it without them. And just like defensive wise too, I mean, everybody was dependent on everybody else. Like I wouldn't say like just the. I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah. but uh, we were all just looking out for each other and hoping everybody did what they did. And is there any special people you want to thank? Oh, my whole line. Definitely. My quarterback. <laughs> um, actually, I would like to thank everybody. The coaching staff, the entire team, everybody deserves it. So yeah, this award is just not mine, it's everybody's. It's I'm with Jathan and I'm built for tough. <laughs>